See this place here? This is the same as in New York. You walk in and he tells you the size of your breasts. And I need to get my new breast size, so let's go and find out. I don't think after having had 50 years of being in a, a male environment, perceived as male, in a male body, one can really ever understand truly how it is to be a different gender. Susan? There with me. I want to ask you a question. Susan, can you stop filming, please? Thank you. Yes? But we've learned a lot more about how women feel through being trusted more in, in women's situations because of being more female, more feminine. Yeah, I had breast reduction surgery a few weeks ago. Well, you want to buy bras today? I want to find out what size I am, because I know you can always tell yeah, me. When and then... you're ready, you'll come in the hole. See, the thing is, he likes to touch your breasts, because that's how he decides what size you are. And he didn't want it on film. He told me that I had 38 D, but really they were slightly more than D, but it didn't have a name. <laughs> it does have a name, it's called Touch Them Again. Women have very complex lives compared to men. It's a, it's a completely different species. We would like to think that we represent the, the future in potentia um, by stating that we are malleable and committed to being malleable. There's beauty. This, this boot, this is beauty. thing that we've been doing, of course, is wearing Jay's clothes since Jay passed. Very fortunately, we have the same size foot. Yeah, once we started to take the Pandragine seriously and do it full time, we had to buy two of everything. And these are Peter Fox shoes, so it started to get pricey when we saw something really beautiful that we both wanted. <laughs> Lady J was already a, a celebrated wild woman of the Lower East Side and the East Village when we met. Here's some of Jay's performance work before we met them. And actually it was quite intimidating to me because she was so super confident, obviously very gorgeous, and so fucking smart. There's Jay. And they did a, a boxing match, but that's all real blood. They beat each other up until they collapsed. So she was ready for me. She was a kindred spirit. Look how blissful she looks. Lady J's beauty tips. Number one, hair must look like a wig. Because we were so obsessed with each other, um, to represent that, that deep, love we began having surgeries to look more like each other number two everything is a hat jay had her nose done her chin done her eyes done altogether she had about 13 procedures we've had cheek implants facial remodeling three breast implants <laughs> two breast implants and one breast reduction <laughs> number three Wear a bra two sizes too small to get cleavage. The pandragine, ourselves, is a third kind of being that only exists because of the, the merging of the two of us. It's not mine and it's not Jay's. It's the combination of the two merging as absolutely as possible. Here's a pandragine, look. See how the two heads become one and the two bodies become one. I like this here, that where she's pinching the nipple. Lady J represents the pandragine in the immaterial world, in another dimension of space and time. 
and we represent it here, but we're still a couple, and we're still the Pandra Jaya. Once she passed on, there's no way that we make enough money to keep this place. So we're going to try and get um, a couple of galleries to, to donate storage space to the artwork. And that archive in there, we're negotiating with the Tate Modern in London for them to buy it. Um, we were going to move to, well, split our time between North Carolina and Nepal. We wanted to open a free clinic in Kathmandu for mothers and babies. Now we'll still try and do something like that, but do it with Jay's name on it. Suddenly she stopped me and gave me this big kiss, which our friend snapped. And see the cigarette? Glamour. Going through the photographs, we hadn't realised just how many photos she's holding a cigarette. They said that she died of sudden heart failure, but it was instant. She died in my arms, kissing me. Breathe the last breath into my mouth. The body is just a cheap suitcase, as Jay would say. So that's just an interim that we're curious about. But for me and Jay, the, the future that we want is to be inanimate, to be just pure thought and blended together. That's our ultimate aim. And the last one always buy two of everything. When the morning of your eyes comes waking through my shadows, 